benchmarking mode and there are graphics option settings just like on a PC game. You can go in here, up the quality, up the resolution, texture resolution, all that. And uh, Max out everything here for Tegra X1. And, and they also created an ultra mode because Tegra K1 basically, you know, delivered so much performance they know want to do further improve the you know graphics quality of this game and uh, is, is this just in the Android store right now? This is on the Android store okay, and sure, yeah. on the Apple store okay. and it runs on all the other uh, Android okay. devices. It's not exclusive to uh, NVIDIA or Tegra. Gotcha. And uh, I ran the benchmark you get around an average of 55 FPS on X1 on K1 if you were to run it on Shield tablet you'll get around 30 FPS. So let's rerun it again and this is sort of cutting edge graphics for, for tablet or mobile? Well, I wouldn't say it's cutting edge. They have designed the game benchmarks such that it runs on all platforms. Obviously, KX1 with its you know, OGL 4.4 capability can run much higher quality graphics. Uh, but with just this level of graphics, we are much higher performance. Yeah. I think it's just yet another benchmark. It, yeah. it better represents mobile gaming than maybe necessarily a synthetic benchmark. Still looks great. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Nice lighting effects. Mark are basically, you know, they are, they are a lot of synthetic workload, but this is an actual in-game benchmark. So if you actually play this game, the visuals are like this. So it gives you. Yeah, it's important like this that this runs, you know, from a benchmark perspective, it has to run on all the other devices. Right. Here on the left hand side, I have a 30 FPS uh, clip, and on the right hand side, I have a 60 FPS clip. And they are both being decoded by Tegra X1. So. Look at the two videos, you know, just observe you know, the trees going by, observe the, you know, the traffic signs painted on the street, and as the traffic, orange traffic cones uh, go by, uh, just look at those on both these videos, and you'll clearly see that the 60 FPS delivers a much better experience and much smoother experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like. <coughs> Night and day. So we built a full 4K pipeline to deliver this in terms of hardware decode, decoding at 60 and then HDMI 2.2. This demo is set up to you know show off the power efficiency of uh, Tegra X1. Uh, what we have here is a Tegra X1 back, uh, board that is instrumented to measure you know the power consumption of the GPU. And mm -hmm. we also have an iPad Air. We opened up the back of the iPad Air, hooked up. Uh, you know, probes onto the GPU rails of the A8X yeah. chip, and we are bringing it out and connecting it to the same power meter. Mm -hmm. And we are measuring the power, and the power consumption is displayed on this uh, laptop here. And to match the performance of, you know, the iPad Air, what we have done is we have downclocked uh, the GPU clock of uh, Tegra X1, so mm -hmm. that it lowers the performance to match it with the uh, iPad Air. Okay. And at the same performance, we have measured the power consumption, and you can see here the Red line is the power consumption of you know iPad Air, okay. and the blue line is the power consumption of Tegra X1. Okay, that, so, and that's full clock on the blue line or the down clock. It's a next? down clock. Mode. Okay, um, because at full clock we would deliver two x the performance of uh, iPad Air. Of iPad Air. And this basically shows this number shows the average power consumption over this time period, and you can see Tegra X1 is 1.88 watts. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, 1.5 watts. Oh, sorry, that's average. That's average. 1 watts, that's uh, 1.5 watts, and you know the iPad Air is 2.65 watts. So on oh. average, we are 1.7 x more efficient. Uh, uh, than the A8X chip at, at the same performance level. Okay, at, at full throttle, what, what do you think your, your your power consumption is? At full throttle, we would be in the same power envelope as Tegra K1. Okay. Yeah. At roughly, roughly the same as the iPad Air, probably. Uh, probably.